Hey everybody, I'm Corinne Zeely, the Program Specialist at 4-H Tidelands Nature Center. And I'm Greg Kosick, the Interim Program Coordinator here at Camp Jekyll. We are so excited that you're here joining us and we can be a part of National 4-H Week. Woo! But we're also excited to bring you all back with us. We've missed you this summer, but we're here now for our fall series of From the Mountain to the Sea. Today, we're gonna to tell you a little bit of one of Georgia's pretty well-known animals. You may have had them before, our wild Georgia shrimp. Let's go check them out. Georgia's coast has many different kinds of shrimp. These are called grass shrimp and they stay really small, so they aren't really a food source for people. But most of what we eat from the Georgia coast are called white shrimp. White shrimp get much larger than these grass shrimp and can actually reach seven to eight inches in length. All shrimp are crustaceans and they are called decapods, meaning they have 10 legs. White shrimp have 10 long slender walking legs and they actually have five pairs of pleopods or swimming legs as well. Shrimp are often found on the ocean floor since they are benthic or bottom crawlers. Since they are so tasty to so many animals, each female shrimp can produce a ton of eggs, anywhere between 500,000 to 1 million eggs for white shrimp. These shrimp release all of those eggs out in the open ocean. As the young shrimp develop, they actually go through a couple of planktonic life stages. In these planktonic stages, the shrimp float through the water, slowly making their way into a protective nursery ecosystem with tons of food. You may know this ecosystem as the marsh. Let's take a closer look at the shrimp and how it's a part of the local food web. As we take a look around the marsh, we notice that there are more and more animals living out here. So, just like for people, shrimp are a favorite food for many different organisms, such as fish, turtles, and even birds. As Corinne mentioned, the shrimp spend the first bit of their life in the marsh to grow up and feed on plants and other decomposing matter. But did you know that depending on what the shrimp eats in the marsh, this can determine what a shrimp will end up tasting like? And that is why our Georgia shrimp are known for being very sweet tasting. It's because they eat that marsh spartina grass, which is actually a relative of sugarcane. So that's why they're so tasty. Thanks, Greg. Since the marsh is a protected area, the young shrimp are able to live and grow to become adults and move out into the open ocean. That is when local shrimpers are able to catch them for you and me. The Georgia shrimp season is typically from mid-June to December 31st in state waters, which extends to three miles offshore. Shrimp harvesting is allowed year-round in federal waters. To make sure shrimping is sustainable in Georgia, the Department of Natural Resources determines the actual opening and closing dates of shrimp season by catching samples of shrimp. The DNR checks to make sure there are enough large shrimp to keep the population healthy. The most common method for catching shrimp is by pulling a large trawl net. Make sure to check out our next video on November 5th to learn a little bit more about these nets. Our friends at the University of Georgia Marine Extension shared this graph with us that shows how impactful the fishing industry has been in the past few years. As you can see in 2018, shrimp alone made approximately $8.5 million. This is huge in providing coastal communities here in Georgia with jobs, commerce, and food. Speaking of food, did you know that 3 billion people worldwide rely on seafood, both wild caught and farmed, as their primary source of protein? This goes to show you that fishing is such an important part of our history, culture, and livelihood. Thanks again for joining us here, and be sure to check out the rest of the Mountains to the Sea series.